discretion is advised. My name is Dana Webb and I've been hunting with air guns for over 30 years. In that time I've hunted a variety of game throughout North America. Hunting has given me the opportunity to spend a lot of time camping and exploring some amazing locations using all kinds of outdoor gear. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're out here in the mountains. We've been up here for a couple days and today I figured I'd offer you guys that are new um, some tips that might help you get started in hunting. I get a lot of emails from people wanting me to give up my hunting spots and I'm not willing to do that because I put in a lot of work to find these locations. Some of the spots, you know, I've been coming to for over 30 years. One of the first things to consider is to really research what it is you will be hunting. In the day and age of the internet, we can learn about these animals' habitat, what they eat, breeding cycles, scat, and even the best time of day to spot the most activity. It's important to learn the simple things and be as informed as possible when heading out in the field. The most successful hunters usually always start early. You want to get your boots dirty. Um, you want to get a full tank of gas in your car and get out, drive to these areas, hike around, do some scouting, because that's really what hunting is about. We want to get out, we want to explore, we want to try to have some fun. And it's going to be that much more rewarding when you do find a location that is a good habitat for what it is you're going after. Aside from heading out and doing the footwork, it's important to know your gear and bring everything that you're going to need. Whenever I arrive to a location, I typically always check my rifle zero and I make sure I have plenty of practice with whatever gun I'm using at various different ranges. Using a rangefinder is one of the most critical tools you can carry in any hunting situation and something I think everybody should own. With hunting, we never have any guarantees and it's important to understand that every trip won't always be successful. For me, it's about getting out, exploring new areas, and enjoying the entirety of the experience. Bring a friend, bring a family member, and just try to have some fun without those expectations. Many times I arrive to these locations and I camp for several days. For me, that's just a small part of turning it into an adventure. I enjoy setting up camp, building a fire, cooking, and just enjoying a cup of coffee under the stars. It's about getting outdoors and we're doing it with an air gun. You know, I've had a lot of fun the past 30 years um, doing this sort of thing. And part of hunting, you know, there's no guarantees. Um, you just have to try the best you can. And sometimes you're successful, sometimes you're not. If you go into it with expectations, um, you're most likely not gonna be happy at the end of the day. But I really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you guys have any tips. Um, I'd love to hear. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.